Hello there. In this video, I would like to give a high level introduction to what C groups are and how they work conceptually. So what are C groups? It is the name given to a mechanism provided by the Linux kernel that enables us to control how much of a certain resource is available to a given application. And these resources could be the amount of memory that is available to this application, the amount of network bandwidth, the amount of CPU, how much CPU an application gets, and even the number of input output operations that can be performed by the application in a given window, say every second. We call it IOPS, input output operations per second. And there are other resources that C groups enables us to control. I've just listed a few, for example. So given that this is what C groups enables us to do, that is control how much of a certain resource is available to an application. How does it work? What is the workflow like? To illustrate that, let us take a really simple example. Let us say that we have two applications running on our host system a database application and a front-end web application. And these two applications have different resource needs, specifically the amount of CPU and memory that they need. So how do we control the amount of CPU and memory that is available to each of these applications? So this is what we do. For the resources that we want to control, in this case, CPU and memory, we create two C groups, one for the database application and one for the web application. And as you can see, for the database application, we call it the DB group, and for the front end web application, we call it the web group. And once you have created these two C groups for each of the resources that you want to control, the next step is to set the appropriate limits. For example, for the database application, if we want to cap the limit at 100 megs, then we set the memory limit to 100 MB for the memory resource. And likewise, for the web group. And then we do the same for CPU. 25% for the database application and 75% of CPU for the front end web application. Once we have defined the C groups and set the appropriate limits for the resources in question, all that you have to do next is launch your application in the context of the C groups. For example, when you launch the database application, you launch the application as part of the database C group. And once you do this, what happens is when the database application tries to consume more than the 100 MB limit, that it has been allocated, it will be automatically be killed by the kernel. You will see what is called an out of memory OOM killed message. And likewise for the CPU, the kernel will ensure that the database application does not exceed the 25% limit that is set as part of a C group. And this is the same workflow for any resource that you want to control. For some like network bandwidth, it may be a little bit involved, but the workflow is essentially creating 
a C group for the resource in question, setting a limit for that C group, and then when you launch your application, launch it as part of the C group. And then the kernel will take care of the rest. That at a high level is how C groups work. So you're probably wondering where exactly do I create these C groups? Where is it located on the Linux system? Well, let's go take a quick look. So I am here on my Ubuntu virtual machine. And if I look in the sysfs directory, I will find a C group directory. And inside that, what you will see is a bunch of different resources that you can control, as in how much of that resource is available to your application. CPU, memory, IO, network, and a few other resources. And if you look inside what you will find for a particular resource like CPU, is a bunch of different fields. And you will be using a subset of these fields to enforce the limits we talked about. For example, for CPU, we will use something called the CFS quota field. And if you look inside, this, it has a value of minus one, indicating there is no limit that is currently set. And the workflow, as we discussed, to set a limit for the CPU resource is to first create a C group under this directory. And once you create a C group, for that C group, you will see the exact same set of fields that you see here. And then you will use some of those fields to set your limits. And when you launch your application, you launch it as part of that C group, as we just discussed. So if you're interested in understanding in depth, what exactly is the interface for you to create your C groups? What is the interface to set the limits? to query the limits and how do C groups relate to containers. You may be interested in my Udemy course, the link for which is provided in the description. And it is an in-depth course that goes into namespaces, C groups, overlay file systems, and how all these mechanisms relate to containers and container technologies such as Docker and Kubernetes. So if you're interested, please do join me in that journey.